Today I am going to show you a tutorial on how to use a LiveScribe pen and the way it can be applied to a literacy lesson called Open Mind Portraits. This is a strategy I found in my 50 Literacy Strategies book from Language Arts class and it can be found on page 77. Gail E. Tompkins is the author. This exercise helps students think about literary characters in more detail and helps them reflect on events in the story from the character's perspective and can be used anywhere from grades 3 to 8. Essentially, I'm going to complete the activity using LiveScribe technology rather than doing a traditional paper drawing. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have chosen the book Hip and Hop Don't Stop by Jeff Zizek. To summarize the story, it is about a turtle named Hip and a rabbit named Hop that both enjoy making rap music. Hip and Hop come from different places in Old School County. People from Slow Jam Swamp don't associate with people from Breakfast Meadow. Despite this, Hip and Hop become friends and both end up competing in a rap contest against one another as friendly rivals. On his own, Hip raps too slowly, and by himself, Hop is simply too fast. It is only when the two come together and rhyme together that they are able to both win the contest as a result of their teamwork. After reading the story, students should be assigned a live scribe pen and notebook, either individually or in groups, depending on the size and dynamic of the class. First, remove the cap from the pen and turn it on by pushing the button on the top. Open the live scribe starter notebook. These notebooks are essential as the pen only works in conjunction with paper designed for the smart pen. You can purchase these notebooks off the LiveScribe website, or you can print this paper with the LiveScribe software that comes with the pen. Students will then be instructed to draw a character of their choosing on one side of the paper. This should be a headshot image of the character and not a full body drawing. They will then write the character's name underneath the picture. So now I'm going to draw an image of Hip. I'm then going to write his name on the page. Students are then to outline or to draw an outline of the character's face on the other side of the paper. In this space, they can fill in and draw images that visually represent the character's thoughts and actions in the story. So now I will draw the same image of Hip. except I'm going to leave the center empty so that I can draw inside the space. As the students draw each idea, they can record audio using the LiveScribe pen to describe their drawing and say what it signifies. In order to record, press the pen to the record button found at the bottom of the page and write as you speak. When you are done writing and speaking your idea, hit the stop button with your pen. So now I'm gonna hit the record button. Zzz. Hip is slow. And just hit the stop button. You can now play back the audio by simply tapping on the image you just wrote. This will ensure that students will not later forget what the image is meant to them. So now if I click on the beginning of the word I just wrote. the pen reads back the corresponding audio. I will now continue to draw the open-minded portrait as a student. So here I'm going to hit record before I start drawing. Hip is from Slow Dram's Swamp. Hip is scared to rap in a battle in front of his friends.
Hip and Hop become friends over their shared love of music. They particularly love hanging out together and listening to their boombox. Hip and Hop win the contest and are crowned first place because they combined their unique skills and worked as a team. Students will now be able to click on any of the images they drew and listen to the corresponding audio. So if I click on here, Now I'm also able to adjust the volume and the playback speed of these audio files. So if I click on here, again, I'll adjust the volume. Hip is scared to rap in a right over here. In front of his friends. And over here I have the option for playback speed. There's a plus and minus button, so I'll click it again. You know, that could always also make for some comic uh, relief in the activity. There's also the option to jump during the audio clip if you want to go back and listen to something you just heard. So if I go here. Hip and hop win the contest and are crowned first place because they combined their unique skills and worked as a team. So you want to just jump back or hit here. Win the contest. So I'm able to jump anywhere in the file. Because they combined their unique skills and worked as a team. When the students are finished their portraits, they can then upload them to the computer. To do this, first attach the USB cord to the pen and then to your computer. The software should automatically load. If it doesn't, Simply open it using Windows Explorer or the Finder. Once the pen is connected, you now select the computer connector from the option menu. There are also other options to transmit the information, including email and Google Docs. When you select the computer icon, you will then have to choose what folder you would like the files in. I am going to use my default folder and then select Sync Now in the top right corner. After the information has been synchronized, you then have full access to the pages, audio, and video. So I'm going to select Hip's portrait so we can see how the information looks. So here's Hip's portrait. We're going to select that. From here, I can easily click any of the images to start a live viewing of what I recorded. For example, This exercise allows children to be able to view their activity and the work of other students when they get home. The LiveScribe pen also makes sharing group activities easier in the classroom itself as the exercise can now be viewed on a smart board or through a project projector. In the character portrait activity, the images that students create will always have a context and meaning that will not be forgotten because the pen records a corresponding auditory explanation. In conclusion, the Smart Pen combines audio, visual, and kinesthetic learning in a way that makes it an excellent 21st century tool for the classroom.